Hello bookish friends, welcome to Attack Tuesday video. In this video I will do my evolution as a reader tag uh, which was created by Jack at Spread Book Joy and uh, I was tagged by Jack in the original uh, video. And now it's time uh, for me to do this, this uh, wonderful tag uh, which is uh, a bit about discussions. Now the first question is uh, what do you read? How your taste in books evolved? Starting uh, from the very beginning, I learned to read uh, when I was uh, five, uh, a year before I went to elementary school. And I started uh, reading uh, comic books and picture books, uh, of course. <laughs> and when I started uh, the elementary school uh, in the first two years, I started uh, reading uh, very short uh, story books, uh, as well as uh, continuing with the picture books and comic books. But after uh, the third year, I started reading a uh, full-length children's books. And my first uh, favorite book uh, and book series uh, was the Pollyanna series. I read and reread those books many, many times. And besides uh, Pollyanna books, uh, I also read many children's mystery books. I just loved uh, solving puzzles. Uh, that was my thing. And uh, I read many Enid Blayton books uh, as well as uh, some other uh, children's uh, mystery authors. When I started uh, middle school, uh, I was introduced to Agatha Christie from a library of my uh, friend's parents. And uh, I read, uh, I think, uh, 10 or 12 Agatha Christie books uh, in that summer. Thus, my love for Agatha Christie uh, started from the very early age of 11. In the middle school and in the high school, I mostly read in English because I was learning a new language and uh, my parents especially encouraged me to read anything in English. Uh, that's why my English uh, was uh, a bit better than most of my friends uh, in high school uh, because I was reading uh, immensely in English. For the genres, I continued reading mystery uh, by reading uh, Nancy Drew mysteries. I also discovered romance uh, and uh, read Daniela Steele books as well as Harlequin books. During that time, I also tried uh, reading uh, Turkish contemporary authors. And I was very disappointed by how complex uh, they were writing compared uh, to the uh, international authors. And uh, I really didn't like uh, their approach to uh, writing. Uh, some of the Turkish authors that I like were actually criticized by writing uh, too approachable uh, to the reader. That was the main reason uh, why uh, I most read uh, books uh, that are written by international authors. Anyway, uh, after uh, high school and, and reading uh, numerous books <laughs> in English, uh, I was accepted uh, to the University of Architecture and uh, I don't know if you're familiar with architecture uh, but, but uh, because I was uh, using uh, most of my time uh, drawing or reading about architecture uh, during that time uh, I did not read many books uh, but I continued reading uh, mystery and romance books uh, during the uh, school holidays but the number of books uh, decreased a lot during that time. Uh, and uh, after I finished uh, the university, uh, I had plenty of time uh, to read again. I discovered uh, two, two favorite authors uh, during that time. Uh, one was Ayşe Kulin, who wrote uh, fictional biographies, uh, which were uh, great and uh, very exciting to read for me. And also Miu Binchi, who wrote uh, incredibly uh, cozy books which warmed my heart uh, with so many uh, joys. And more or less uh, during this time, I started uh, reading many historical fiction books too. A couple of years later, I joined uh, a university library and there were uh, many books uh, from Agatha Christie in English. And uh, I reread uh, those books uh, that I read in Turkish, uh, this time in English, and uh, I fell in love with Agatha Christie again. And one day I decided uh, that I needed to read classics and read uh, many of the horror science fiction classics. Uh, and uh, I also uh, discovered a love for uh, middle grade classics. Really fell in love with Anne of Green Gables and uh, decided to search in YouTube what other people thought of Anne of Green Gables. 
and uh, that was the turning point in my reading life i think uh, because i discovered booktube uh, through uh, end of green gables and uh, I fell into a rabbit hole of uh, watching many of the uh, booktubers and uh, actually my reading decreased a bit uh, for a while because I was watching booktube videos all the time. I discovered many, many, many authors uh, through booktube uh, which became uh, my new favorites. Because of uh, this uh, time between the end of 2016 and the middle of 2019, uh, I, I read uh, so many books in so many different genres and uh, I discovered uh, that uh, I really did like uh, the fantasy genre even though I do not read uh, them as much as mystery or romance or historical fiction I most of the time rate those books very highly it was the same for uh, science fiction and non-fiction too at the time that I joined booktube in 2019 I was already a reader with many genres, although having uh, three favorites, uh, I read almost anything that I uh, could find and my prejudices uh, towards other genres were uh, decreased a lot, uh, mainly because of booktube. That was a long answer, wasn't it? Anyway, the second uh, question is how you read. Uh, has the format of your reading changed much? Like I mentioned before, I started by reading uh, comic books and picture books, but especially after middle grade, uh, I uh, mostly read all exclusively novels and short novels. Uh, I did not even read novellas. Uh, but after 2016, uh, I started reading uh, short story collections, uh, mostly mystery short story collections. And I also started rereading graphic novels since 2020 and uh, graphic works uh, do constitute a uh, significant portion of my reading uh, in the previous three years. Question three. How much you read? Uh, do you read more or less than previously? When do you read? How often you read changed? Since uh, 2016, uh, I definitely read uh, more. Uh, and uh, since uh, I uh, joined booktube, uh, I read even more. I mostly read uh, during my commute, uh, like I mentioned in many videos. Uh, but uh, after uh, I come back from work and had my meal, I most of the time do read uh, for uh, one hour, and even more uh, if I'm very close to finishing a book. And in the weekends, uh, as well as uh, Walking through my commute, uh, I listen to audiobooks while walking with some mixture of big different formats. And uh, with the exception of a few days, I read almost uh, every day. Question four. How has Booktube changed you as a reader? I, I, I already talked uh, that uh, I read much more, uh, but other than that, I became a very social reader since joining Booktube. Uh, that was a bit intentional uh, and uh, I love uh, the social aspect of booktube so much because I love hearing uh, other people's opinions about uh, the books uh, that I've read, uh, whether they agree with me or not. Uh, I really enjoy hearing different perspectives. And especially with uh, bud reading, uh, I made uh, so many, so many good friends uh, from all around the world. And I'm very proud to call uh, so many uh, different uh, people uh, from different countries uh, as my friend because of booktube and those friendships of course influenced the books uh, that i've read uh, i discovered uh, so many uh, different uh, authors uh, by reading my friends uh, favorites books and authors so booktube uh, really broadened uh, my view uh, as a reader Question 5 is tagging some people. Uh, to be honest, I have no idea who did this tag or did not do it. So I will tag uh, anybody who wants to do this very chatty tag. I think it's a great reflection of uh, your uh, reading uh, throughout the years. And if you're hesitant to do it, I think you should definitely do this tag. And uh, I would also like to thank Jack uh, for uh, tagging me. So please comment down below how has Booktube changed uh, your life as a reader uh, whether you are a content creator or a viewer if you are a new friend a new viewer first of all welcome 
Please like and subscribe. Hope to see you very soon. Bye. As for Turkish word of the day, I'm going to choose evolution. Evolution means evrim in Turkish and evrim is our Turkish word of the day. Have a good day.